Greetings YouTube! So we're doing another technical update here for my channel. Um, some of you may have noticed that uh, we are back with a functioning computer in my office. So you're looking at my cluttered office again as opposed to looking at my cluttered kitchen. Um, and the process of getting here was long and involved. It took six weeks of having my computer at a shop. Well, it did come home for one night just to be shown that it didn't work. So what it all looks like it happened, and this is what I finally been able to like, you know, diagnose from the process after the fact, is that about four or five months ago, well, I guess almost five months now, I had a drive die. My my conventional hard drive in my computer died. I'm not sure why, but it did. Um, it was conventional, you know, spinny disk kind of a hard drive. And it was like only like I don't know, 50 bucks more or something less than that to get a solid state drive to replace it. So I did. Um, computer comes home and after about a month and a half, a little bit, two months, something like that, the drive began, the computer began to be giving me problems. It started telling me that there was no drive. But I know there's a drive, but just telling me there's no drive. So eventually it just stopped uh, the day after my birthday, September 5th. And uh, so it went to the shop. And their initial diagnosis was it was the cable, the proprietary cable that connected the drive to the motherboard. Um, which means that they damaged that proprietary cable in the process of installing the drive. That's That would be my, would be, that would be my first thought. Well, the drive cable worked fine before it was removed because it wasn't the drive cable that went bad. It had been the hard drive itself. So that got delayed because the company moved. They physically moved themselves from one section of their little strip mall they're in to another little section of the strip mall they're in. They moved one unit down. But they didn't tell me. They just moved, which delayed the entire process for more than a week. So they finally decided that was the problem. Um, they said they got it fixed. They checked it. It was all good. And I brought it home, failed, went back. So then they said, well, the next diagnosis was it was the connection on the motherboard itself because they had completely rebuilt, handmade a cable because apparently they felt that just getting another cable from Dell was just going to be more problems because they felt that the cable itself had been the issue. Remember, that was the original diagnosis. So the cable is no longer, the cable is now out of the picture. The cable is now good. So now they're telling me it's the, connection on the motherboard and that is also proprietary built into the motherboard so you're going to need a proprietary motherboard okay so all right now remember this is taking weeks that we're at this point i authorized 100 bucks you go for it get me a new motherboard i finally get a hold of them and they finally tell me well we've come to the conclusion it isn't the motherboard it's the hard drive itself, so that they installed a faulty solid-state hard drive. Now, I'm not sure how you find or install a faulty solid-state hard drive. They're supposed to be pretty bulletproof. But apparently, these guys succeeded at that. So, um, they said they were going to put a new one in. But to get the new one in and everything, it only cost me 75 bucks, as opposed to the 100 bucks that, the motherboard is, so I was going to save 25 bucks. Cool. Awesome. They do this, and I finally get the phone call. Hey, it's all set to go, and it's going to be $185. I said, no. I said, when Bruce, I talked to Bruce, the other technician, there's two technicians here. I said, he quoted me 75 bucks. Okay, we'll go with what Bruce said, because I don't have any notes here. Yes, you do that. So I then went and picked it up, paid 75 bucks, brought it home, and at the moment, it's working. Now, the reason it took six weeks to have this is because every single contact deadline that was set was failed. Now, I didn't set a single contact deadline. I did not say, you will contact me by this time. No, 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 no. Bruce set every single contact deadline. I'll call you today. I'll call you in three days. And in every single instance, no contact from, from Bruce. 
And sometimes I'd be generous and I'd give them three or four days because I understand that they have a business to run. I am sympathetic to that. But I want my computer back. And trying to run a daily YouTube channel without a functioning PC with the only thing I could rely upon, which is a Chromebook, which you cannot hook up an external hard drive to. So all the data on my external hard drives was not accessible through a Chromebook or an XP laptop, which will not read the data off of my hard drive properly. So I could not access the hard drive information on there, with the exception of my 4,000 question videos, because those are just numerical. So I know exactly which one. All my other videos have names. And I don't know what order I did make the videos in. I don't know what the name order should be. I can't look at my, look at the, book reviews like and then tell you which book review I did before any other book review I order them in the hard drive in no most recent the oldest it's simple that way but I can't use my XP laptop for that because it's old and clunky and doesn't want to behave so running this channel for six weeks without a PC was a friggin nightmare caused me lots and lots of straight stress and ate up a whole lot of space in my skull. I basically did not do any kind of work for my therapy for that time because I was occupied so much about not panicking about the fact that my YouTube channel, which is a daily channel, may collapse because I cannot keep keep it up to date. But I succeeded. I got past it. So now we're here. Now, thankfully, it looks like I didn't actually lose any data because I don't really keep any data on my hard drive on my computer. It's all on external hard drives. So I did lose like all the software and everything. Then it's been taking me days and days to finally figure out what, 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 what program am I missing now? And then going and hunting it down. Um, and I've decided to go with Outshot. Is what that? One second. Yeah, Outshot Video Editor as a replacement for Movie Maker. Because Movie Maker is now riddled with so much advertising. It's crippled. Because I used to use that years ago. And it was beautifully simple. Outshot seems to be hitting the vibe for me because a simple, very simple ed video editor just t stitch video together and edit it or rendering video. Interestingly, the videos I filmed on my Chromebook are an M, is it MK, MKV, I think is what they are. And they don't have thumbnails in Windows 10. But they are very small files, and if I render them, they're like nine times larger, so I'm not rendering them. I'm going to leave them in that form so, that I, could, so I could keep them on my hard drive. Um, as opposed to the videos I take on my little camera, which I render them and they get to be like a ten times smaller. So it's kind of intriguing. Some videos I have to render for storage, long-term storage, and some I don't. Um, but... My computer doesn't really doesn't like the MK4 format. I think it's MKV format, which is, I think what it's called. Um, it doesn't like the, the way the way that looks at all. Um, I think Windows uh, Windows actual video viewer won't even recognize them. It'll play the audio, but won't show any video footage. It's very strange. These things do not want to talk to each other. Um, which you think in 2019 everything should talk to everything, but no, that's not how it works. So at the moment we're up and running. This has been rambly. I'm pissed at the company. I'm not going to be mean and tell you which company it was. Um, but I'm pissed at the company. And I told the guy, I said, if this works now, well, our relationship is done. I'm walking away and I'm never coming back. Um, I feel that you had an absolute lack of professionalism. This is why. And explain missing all the deadlines. You know, I said, no, this is, this is a lack of professionalism. And that bothers me. And there's no reason this took six weeks. And it did. And was diagnosed incorrectly two or three times till they finally figured out what it was. And I still can't figure out how you have a faulty solid state hard drive. I don't get that. But I think we're all set and up and running. So I'd like to thank everyone who was sympathetic to my plight and who offered advice. I appreciate that. Um, and hopefully we'll not have any problems with this hard drive for a very long time. Solid state hard drives should be far more durable and bulletproof. And they're quieter. Um, than conventional hard drives. So we're going to see how that works. So if anybody out there has any other horror stories when it comes to their computers needing repair, let's share them. Let's commiserate. 
Because you know what they say, misery loves company.